Sunday night talk show. Yeah. Right? It's called Current Mood. It's called Current Mood, which is sort of a goof on the Instagram uh, sort of verbiage of current mood or squad goals. John Clayton Mayer is an American singer-songwriter, guitarist, and record producer. Famous for his guitar skills and artistic pursuit of classy pop rock songs, John has earned major chart success in the U.S. and other countries. Known for his solo career, as well as his career as part of the John Mayer Trio, this knowledgeable musician has millions of fans across the globe. The winner of seven Grammy Awards, John is also known for experimenting with various musical genres. Subsequently, he became successful across genres, establishing himself in contemporary rock and broadening his scope to incorporate the blues. Half joke at first, and I set up these two cardboard boxes and I have a backdrop I made myself out of foam core board. It looks like a science fair presentation on... Hello everyone, welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is John Clayton Mayer, also known as Hawk. He was born on October 16, 1977, in Bridgeport, Connecticut, United States. That makes him 44 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 6 feet 3 inches or 190 centimeters tall. He has two hobbies. He plays blackjack and collects watches from Rolexes to paddocks and APs. He owns watches that range from a couple hundred dollars to a couple hundred thousand dollars. As far as blackjack goes, he learned it himself when the 2004 tour ended. He said he purchased as many books as he could find and developed his strategy to play. After spending two weeks straight of dealing cards to himself, he considered himself ready. Besides watching in poker, he is an avid fan of music. He plays guitar in his free time, reads books, and watches movies. Mayer began seeing Jessica Simpson in 2006, after her very public divorce from Nick Leahy. Mayer might be on good terms with some of his exes, but you can't break Taylor Swift's heart and get away with it. The two musicians famously dated in 2009, at ages 32 and 19 respectively, and Swift reportedly wrote Dear John about Mayer. Let's not forget some of his other casual flings from this period, which include Cameron Diaz, Rashida Jones, Sheena Marie, although Mayer reportedly dumped the Vanderpump Rules star after she got a little too candid with the press. He also dated Jennifer Aniston back in 2008-2009, he also briefly dated makeup artist Rena Hammer in 2010 and Renee Zellweger in 2011, along with a supposedly secret relationship with actress Shanae Grimes. Also, long before she broke the internet, Kim Kardashian was linked to Mayer after they were spotted out in New York in 2010. Mayer's long-term girlfriend was Katy Perry, who he dated on and off from 2012 to 2016. Although they displayed their affection for one another in the video for their collaborative song, Who You Love, the couple kept their relationship relatively private. Mayer has never been married. It started as a goof, and then what it ended up being is like people really feeling the need to join up on a Sunday night and use the buddy system, because Sunday night is like this. John Clayton Mayer was born to Richard and Margaret Mayer. He has two brothers. For his junior year, he attended Center for Global Studies at Brian McMahon High School in Norwalk. He became fascinated with the guitar after watching Michael J. Fox's performance in a movie. He then fell in love with blues music after hearing Stevie Ray Vaughan's music. When he was 13, his father rented a guitar for him. He started taking lessons and became so engrossed in it that his concerned parents took him to a psychiatrist who declared him healthy. Later. He said that his parents' troubled marriage often forced him to disappear in his own world. While he was in high school, he started playing guitar at bars and other venues. He also joined a band called Villanova Junction and played with Tim Procaccini, Rich Wolf, and Joe Belizne. When he was 17, he was diagnosed with cardiac dysrhythmia and was hospitalized. He said that during that period, he realized that he had a penchant for songwriting too. He also suffered from panic attacks. 
and is still on anti-anxiety medication. He wanted to skip college to pursue a career in music, but his parents persuaded him to enroll at the Berklee College of Music in 1997 at the age of 19. However, he left Berkeley after two semesters and moved to Atlanta with his college friend, Clay Cook. They formed a two-man band called Lo-Fi Masters and began performing at local clubs and other places. Soon they parted ways and Mayer started a solo career. John Mayer released his first debut EP, Inside What's Out, on September 24, 1999. The album was re-released by Columbia Records in 2002. Some of the songs, such as Back to You, My Stupid Mouth, and No Such Thing, were recorded again for his debut album, Room for Squares. His debut studio album, Room for Squares, was released on June 5, 2001. The album peaked at number 8 on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart. It is his highest-selling album to date, having sold over 4,484,000 copies in the U.S. His second studio album, Heavier Things, was released on September 9, 2003. Although his songwriting received negative criticism, the album generated positive reviews. In 2005, he formed a rock group called the John Mayer Trio, with bassist Pino Palladino and drummer Steve Jordan. The band in which he served as the guitarist released a live album titled Try in 2005. His third studio album, Continuum, was released on September 12, 2006. The album incorporated elements of blues, marking the change in Mayer's musical style. Music critics praised the album, and Mayer received several accolades. His fourth studio album, Battle Studies, was released on November 17, 2009. It enjoyed commercial success, not only in the U.S., but also in several other countries. Two of its singles received chart success. The album also received praise from the music critics and was certified platinum by RIAA. The fifth studio album, Born and Raised, was released on May 22, 2012. Its first single, Shadow Days, was released on Mayer's blog before the release of the album. The second single, Queen of California, was released on Hot AC Radio on August 13, 2012 and its official video was released on July 30th, 2012. Mayer's sixth studio album, Paradise Valley, was released on August 20th, 2013. The album features breaks and instrumentals and consists of electric guitars instead of harmonica. John Mayer's debut album, Room for Squares, received positive reviews from music critics. His second studio album, Heavier Things, debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200 chart and sold 317,000 copies in the first week. His album, Continuum, debuted at number two on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart and sold 300,186 copies in the first week. Eventually, it sold over five million copies worldwide. The album, Battle Studies, debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart and sold over a million copies in the U.S. People need something to soothe them and it became kind of like, Mr. Rogers for hungover adults, you know? <laughs> and, and now the joke part's going away. He easily racks in over a million dollars every year from his musical stints. He makes money from his music through live concerts and royalties mostly. As of 2021, his net worth is estimated to be around $70 million. His Beverly Hills residence is worth $13.4 million. The 7,100-square-foot home includes five bedrooms and seven bathrooms, with a number of celebrity-friendly features perfect for entertaining. A huge glass-walled combination living and dining room that flows into a spacious kitchen with all the most state-of-the-art appliances, a screening room, a gym, and a spa. In his garage, you will find a Ford GT, a Ford Raptor truck, a Land Rover Defender, a Range Rover,
and a Ferrari 599.